Exactly. So as a flat woman, body positivity. Right? <laughs> this is what you call body positivity. Come on, I'm talk not to gonna about go you. and get no BBL oh, or no, no implants to improve. <laughs> and everybody, I'm as flat as a pancake. You know, turn me sideways, look like an ironing board. Always flat. <laughs> so no, I wouldn't go and I would I wouldn't go and do it. And it's like so, think of your and, kids. And no man's gonna. I think my man. If I had to go and say, well, my ass is flat. You know, my ass is flat. And they think, well, it's been flat for the last 30 odd years. I've known you. Why would you want going to get it done? Because what's the name's great? Then he looks great. He might say, yeah, it might look good on her, but I don't want that in my bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I you know, think... men want it to look at. Yeah. To, um, was it just to, to have for one night? To fantasize. Ski and retreat. No, we, no, we, we, want, we, want, we want it to be well done. Retreat. But they will not marry him. They will not settle down with somebody with a fake old lips, the eyebrows. And if they do, it ain't going to last. You know, in our society today most women's only life desire is to be validated. This is because women do, or let me say women never look at the bigger picture or what waits for them ahead. Well, in every case there are a few exceptions which is the Sigma woman. This type of woman is true to themselves. They see no need for external validation. They are self-loved and what lies in front of them is their ultimate goal. To be realistic about this fact, women like Auntie Jean right here understand the what's of life, not the how's or the who's. Unlike Auntie, which I clearly see as a sigma, traditional women will prefer to stay natural and demand the natural respect that comes with it rather than going about swelling body parts just to attract temporal validation. Before we proceed please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel because YouTube promotes videos with more likes and subscribers. I think the issue might be as well that some girls see how other girls get treated when they get all these things done. So maybe if they get flown out or good treatment and then they think they when up. they're not getting anything, they think that they should <laughs> do that and then get the attention the other girls get. When actually they're getting that attention maybe because the guy is kind of doing something transactional with them in a way. Like if you're flying them out, you might expect something from them. Yeah. And then other girls want to do that to get the same treatment. I think they so need that, to, women need to be honest to women. I will say, a woman that follows the disgusting path and listens to the advice of mischievous women always ends up on broken bottles. The attention, men showering you with gifts, and the trips to foreign countries may seem fun at the time being but what awaits you at the end can never be a compromise. The one most important thing. I think only Sigma women understand is that, despite the fact, women also need to be successful in our modern society today. That does not also change the fact. The primary job of real feminine women is to raise a family and not to be entitled but rather be submissive. Because yeah. I saw a girl, I interviewed a young lady, and I was, she, had a, she had her butt done. And I had a feel. I had a good old feel of it, you know. <laughs> and you wouldn't expect. And she had hell of cellulite. Auntie, did it feel good? No, it didn't. It didn't. Did it because did it was just, I wanted to feel her breasts because her breasts were fantastic. Oh, you were all over her. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is she here tonight? No, she had, she had the best breasts I've ever Come seen ever. <laughs> but when you think about, because the women are out there, they don't think about the pain, mm. you know, the stuff when they get in their lips, it goes rock hard, they have to get it cut out. But I looked at her ass and I thought, You've had, have you had your bum done? She said, yeah. And I said, can I have a feel? But you just, and I said, you've got cellulite. And she said, yeah, because I had the fat reduced, like taken out of here and put in there. Now, women are going to go around, they're going to go and say, yeah, we've had our butt done. But it was a, it looked like an orange. You know, it just looked like an ordinary butt. It, it was nice, beautifully shaped, but it was all, it had all cellulite. And I'm sure that when women are thinking about getting their butt done, they're not thinking, I'm going to get cellulite. Years ago, you used to get like, Lip gloss that used to like sting your lips and make them swell a bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now you want to go and get it injected. Why? Can I can I comment on that? Right. So it's it's this illusion that is taking place. So women, to your point, want to do it because of the reactions they see they're getting from men. But at the end of the day, it's so much deeper than that because their mindset is so twisted and warped, and their value is placed in this is what I bring to the table, and this is what I need to get. And so I can go get a quick fix if I get my body done. I can go ahead and get, you know, my boobs done, my buddy, my booty done and my lips done. And I'm gonna be able to pull this attention from a guy, not knowing that that is not lasting. That's not the attention that you want. He's not Mm -hmm. looking for a wife in that. And so by the time you're in that position, you have to maintain it. Right. So you are looking at your competition for the girl who influenced you in the first place to get that done, because now she has become your competition because your mindset delusionally you wanted the attention that she got, but in turn of that, she's become your competition and now you have to compete with her and maintain it and go get more injections and get a little poke of Botox over and over when instead of working on your character and going and getting healing and doing the internal work that is going to long-term make you wife material, you became an objective 
object for him. Talking from a man's viewpoint and speaking with respect to the reality of the situation in question. Women that have accomplished in life that are ranked as high-value women are not actually successes in finances and material things as some other women would think. This means, thinking a woman can own the world and be happy is delusional. However, for a woman to be considered high-value, she has to be the type that can be able to follow the flow of life, master what men need and be true to herself. Trust me on this, if by completing all these tasks and you are not yet been referred to as a high-value woman by your fellow women, friends, or families, then feel free to call me mean names. Men will tell you they like women with big tidies and bombs but in reality, they need that to quench their taste. Once the taste have been quenched, he will be on his way to meet his wife and children. Going after what men want will bring you temporal attention but rather, going after what men need or desire in a woman will bring you commitment. The thing is, Well I think that the issue is is that modern women today don't want to be wife material. Being wife material is not cool for yeah. the majority of them. Yeah, that's so, very submissive for women nowadays. And now yeah. we get into the real, like that. the real of the real. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, because at the end of the day, you know, whether or not you will get something done with your body, you should say, what are the results that I want in life? What are the results? Because men have been telling you that Getting something done to that degree and that extent does not make you more marriage and material. But, but not, you would rather they pay. They don't care about us, though. But I, that's what I'm they're saying. They're not listening to us. But, but they're not saying. Yeah, exactly. They're not listening to us. But you would rather pay for the short-term attention, validation that you see your homegirls getting versus putting the actual work in that guys say that they're actually looking for to get the end result that you inevitably want. So you want to get your body done in order to receive more eggplants inside of you? <laughs> or do you want to work on becoming more, much more marriageable material to get a man that is going to provide, protect for you into the long term? The thing is, women have the right to select from the most handsome tall man to the richest tall or short fellow on the planet, whatever the case. The idea is they have the free will to be with whom so they choose or consider partners. Now, the question is, why do modern women go through all the stress of body modification meanwhile they know fully well that staying true to themselves will attract the most high-valued man of their dreams? Before we continue leave a comment on your own reason why you think modern women undergo body modifications. Men change their minds a lot as well about the body preference. Before it was really slim girls with big boobs, then it was the massive bums, and now men like just natural. Do you know something, right? Men don't give a shit about it. It's a societal. That's the trend. Because yeah. 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 it's a trend. When do we do this? What is deep down inside of you has never changed from what the men want. Mm. What they the men, the, the men like that want that. No, because it's been the same all over the years. The, what the men has want has never changed. Your body might change, but deep inside, what the men want has never changed. Mm. You keep on changing the outside when the men not give a shit about the outside. They won't keep us. They want to keep. They want the inside to stay the same. They want the inside like what their granny had, mm. their great granny had. That is the kind of woman they want. Mindset. They don't really give a shit about what you look like outside. Well, then, so you she... might be keeping up with the fashion, but they don't care. They want the old school the inside. Talk to me. So me, Talk you might go never your big old titties and your Preach. and your big old ass, but I can catch you man with my flat breast and my flat ass why because i can cook clean and i'm submissive well, and i can look I after my man i think you're very lucky though i think you're very lucky not luck. it's not luck I think it is a lot not of men luck don't, don't care about no, that stuff no it is anymore. not luck Doctor i did not come like this because of luck it pisses me off when people say luck i didn't get like this because of luck this is who i am this is Good parenting, your man good you upbringing from women, good found. upbringing from man. This is not listening to stupid women. This is listening to older men, older women Talk that support me. This oh. has got nothing to do with luck. Yeah. This is to do with hard work yeah, like and determination. I'm not going yeah. and paying your oh. money to get your outside Talk fixed up auntie. when you need to pay your yeah. money to get your inside fixed up. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. She fix your inside, it. not your outside. Talk. Talk. Yeah. Cool down, cool down. 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 Come on. She dehydrated now. That was a lot. Come on. Salud. Okay, question. Question for the panel. Do you guys think that sex work is immoral? Mm. Yeah. Can I comment on that, actually? Go ahead. So I I done an OnlyFans, but it wasn't like vagina, boobs. It was lingerie. Yeah, boobs were out, whatever. I done it, and when I finished it, I felt very degraded. I felt very like, why did I actually do that? Now, I know there's girls out there who do that. They don't feel that way. That is perfectly fine. You do you. You feel the way you feel. But me personally, like we, like in the future, how, like when I have kids and all in the future, and if my kids found out about that, they'll probably get bullied in school. There are people will be like, oh, your mom done this, your mom done that, and your man as well. He's not going to, res if you don't respect yourself and you're selling your body online, I, I can't speak for everyone, I can just speak for myself. If you're selling your body online like that, there's not, a, there's not a high respect for yourself. 
why expect that from others then? You know what I mean? And it's like, if you're doing that sex work, it just, it's so different for you. How much money did you make? In t- so I basically done it like consecutively for like a week. Like literally just I posted for, for a full yeah, week. Yeah, first week. In total, first week I made about 2000 that was from people oh. being nosy oh, and shit. from people so you two rats in first week. And first in week, week in one week. It was and just from people being one hundred if you've seen the t- stuff that people would Child, ask please. you and even outside of it, even to this day, I don't do it anymore. But people still being like to me, Oh well you used to have OnlyFans, like what was that? Like you 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 must be real freaky. No. Why you no. give a fuck what they talking about? It's it, it, cause I wasn't posting this whole vagina I wasn't doing the whole thing, you know it, what I mean? So you won. You ain't show no nothing, and you no. Made I show, I show, I showed the titties. I showed the titties, but I didn't, I didn't show nothing else. You know what I mean? And it was yeah. kind of to a point where it's like, I thought I could do that when I got onto it. Do you think she won so money, but she didn't win respect? Do you, I didn't win respect. Do you, think, do you think that you should be judged for doing sex work? To an extent, it does. I don't care what anybody says. In my opinion, it do, it does speak a lot about yourself it it does it 100 percent. even for me like when i done it people knew the type of girl i was like i'm very out there i'm open i don't care i'll speak what i speak and say what i say and do what i do but when i done it i just didn't expect to be like whoa I what, feel very what did you what did you expect i don't know what and i like expected. What, what, what were you thinking before you did it before mm. i did it i was like get me get the bag get the money just mm-hmm. get the money see what all these and was girls... there someone that influenced you to do it or... oh yeah i see all these girls doing it and getting the money but the on one t- thing on i didn't TikTok? on instagram tiktok mm-hmm. some girls i know and i'm like girl get it if, th- if that's what you want to do mm-hmm. that is perfectly fine like do you me personally i, cu- I couldn't do, do you, it like that do you understand if a guy would disqualify you in the future for that I, yeah. that was the first thing i said i can understand how a man, man would look at me and why like why do you think that you accept that where other girls will call the man misogynistic feelings they're not using their logic they're mm-hmm. like how dare you speak about me like that and mm-hmm. it's like you're taking it so personal i was like you obviously must feel a specific way about yourself if that's how you're speaking about man a man being misogynistic because he won't take you up for that. Mm-hmm. That that that's about your own respect levels, and that that's just your own opinion. Like, do you know. do you guys think that sex work is immoral? Um, speaking to your mic, just you know, don't forget. To an extent, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of points that you mentioned, I'd agree with. I feel like it comes off very desperate, and <clears throat> I just gen- generally feel like. Um, Doing them sort of things don't make you seem like a very good person in the way of... so it, It's not your fault. Like, I'm not blaming you for it. How is it not your fault? Mm. Whose fault is it? I think... Yeah. I think <laughs> you're no, like, to genuinely, it, like, like, I feel like... Obviously, I'm not going to put the blame on everyone else. Like, I feel I believe everyone should take accountability for the actions and whatnot. But I feel like upbringing mm-hmm. and the like financial state you're in yeah, but you can, can influence you, can, you a lot you with can, them sort of things but you can look at someone that's born in the same upbringing and they don't make those decisions yeah no a hundred percent a hundred percent um i feel like they even just being born in this century you're richer than most people were mm-hmm. in all of human history that's true i agree with that mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, i just feel like because again going on back onto the part of the society that we're in now mm-hmm. Obviously, back in the day, it was prostitution. That was looked down upon more. Now, OnlyFans is being favoured, especially by, like, men and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, men that start OnlyFans, um, they get favoured. They're like, oh, right, he, he, he's, uh, he's doing his thing. Like, he's fucking different bitches every night mm-hmm. type vibe. It's like it gets favoured, and it's normalised to the it's point fa- it's where... Favor- you think men make more money on OnlyFans than women? Um, I don't know the statistics, so I won't speak it's, on that. But um, obviously, <laughs> I know I, I personally know men that are on OnlyFans, and they do make money. Mm-hmm. Like, what's make money? As in, like, they like make how much, a roughly? substantial amount, probably, like, 30k a month. Okay. That's so, yeah. like... It is a thing. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's not as normal as women doing it, but it is a thing. Mm-hmm. It's crazy how men were the ones that kind of that kind of run the porn society, and it's the women that are falling corn, into it. Corn. Oh, sorry, porn, porn society. Yeah. My apologies. Mm-hmm. How they run the porn societies, but obviously, women being consumers as it, as it is, mm-hmm. we're going to be the ones to jump into it more. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Compared to men, hundred yeah. percent. Okay. So, what do you, what do you think? Um, is sex work immoral? Yes, I absolutely think so. For any sex, it doesn't even matter, um, male or female we weren't made to do that, right? Like, um, even just the fact that we have to wear clothes and layers is to protect, right? So even before you put on your regular clothes, you have on undergarments, right? Mm -hmm. 
And so that in and of itself just shows the default nature of how that's supposed to be more sacred. It's supposed to be more private, more secure, right? We even refer to it as private parts, private areas. So absolutely, it's immoral to just be flaunting that and giving it to anyone. Mm -hmm. Period. What about you? Um, so for myself, I would say it would be immoral for me, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Like, I think is morality people, different is morality different for different people? Like if I steal and you steal, it's different. In general, no, but okay. I think some people will kind of rationalize what they're doing mm -hmm. and then say that they have their reasons for it. And then I'm not, I don't know their life. So I don't know what their reasons would be. But if I steal it because I'm hungry, does that, does that make it different? It's not okay. But people are going to do what they're going to do. So if they do it... No, but I'm asking the, if you think it's moral. No, I not for me. Okay. I wouldn't... No, but for everyone, do you think it's moral? No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. All right, go ahead. Hell no. <laughs> and, I, and I think, like, now, um, you know, I also think as I get older, like, if I had a daughter, what would my answer be? <laughs> right? Like, I think it's, you know, just think about that. But also, too, like, I think the word, the terminology sex work is, it's, it's a really, like, large term. There's a lot of things that could be encompassed within that. But I also think uh, sex work, you know, could be, you know, a lot of these Hollywood stars that, you know, show up half naked to the red carpet, right? <laughs> like, I was looking at the Oscars, and, and Sierra just showed up to the Oscars, yeah. uh, ha like, literally half naked. And she has two or three kids and is married to a multi-multi-millionaire, a, a multi Russell Wilson. That, to me, is a component of sex work as well because she's taking degrees of her sexuality, putting it somewhere, and, and, and going to get brand deals because of it, right, Like and, and everything that comes from it, right? So, like, I even think when we talk about sex work, it, the definition has to be expanded for modern times today because although she's not doing that and getting direct money, or maybe that she is from the outfit that she's wearing, she could be, right? But then also what comes of that, right? And if there's an exchange of money, then that's sex work as well. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Man. I don't know. My my thoughts on it different than everybody else. I don't. I don't really see nothing wrong with it. Cause like sex work been going on since the beginning of time. It's never gonna stop. Have you ever had a prostitute? Always gonna go. On. No. I don't, I don't. I don't buy. I don't do that. But I'm just saying, it's gonna happen. Like, women going to get money. They're going to use what they got to get money. Men going to do the same thing. See, so. I'm, like, torn on it because on one hand, I sometimes agree with you. Like, I sometimes think it's needed in a society because what are the one in three men going to do? And if you if you think sex is a need, which it sort of is for men, but then it, it just makes my stomach turn to say that, too. <laughs> The question of whether sex work is immoral is a complex and controversial one, and opinions on the matter vary widely depending on cultural, moral, and ethical perspectives. Some people argue that sex work is inherently immoral because it involves the commodification of human sexuality and can perpetuate exploitation, objectification, and harm. Others argue that sex work can be a legitimate form of work that provides individuals with autonomy agency, and financial stability and that the stigma and criminalization of sex work are what actually contribute to harm and exploitation. But my opinion on this is, whether sex work is considered immoral or not is subjective and dependent on one's personal beliefs and values. It is important to recognize that sex workers are individuals who deserve respect, dignity, and protection and that policies and attitudes towards sex work should prioritize harm reduction and the empowerment of sex workers. Who you think have sex more? A regular girl or somebody who do OnlyFans? Like, mm. who, who got one, per, who, one person who they sleep with on OnlyFans, they do OnlyFans. Who you think? A regular girl. Who, I would agree. I would agree. Who you think yeah. having sex more? Or a stripper versus, mm. versus just a regular girl? Regular girl. No, I think it's the... I, I think girls that do promiscuous behavior are like tend to make more promiscuous like choices. Like, I think if someone does that, they're probably more likely to sleep around. That's my opinion. I know some people will say no, but yeah. I would beg the differ. I, I'm, I would really beg the differ. Can I just say I'm, I'm, oh. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm always with you, but I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if you ever um, been close with a stripper or kind of see what they what they do, like mm -hmm. they schedule mm -hmm. and how they work. They ain't really. Yeah. They I, they they go into the club doing their thing. They come home, count up their money. Mm -hmm. Get up in the morning, go to the bank, deposit them ones. They ain't really 
out here just messing around like mm-hmm. that, but it might be another girl who going to the strip club mm-hmm. just throwing ones on them, but they fucking that night. I mm-hmm. think yeah, uh, well, my girls in the strip club are desensitized to it, right? So that they're when you are stripping for a man and doing that, you have to sell a fantasy to him, right? You have to get into this persona and give him the dream for the night so he will give you the money, right? And so once you come off of that and you're home and you're with your family or whatever, you, you usually they have kids that they're taking care of and they're doing stuff for. They're exhausted. They're tired because I just had to go and pretend to be someone mm-hmm. that I mm-hmm. wasn't. And I don't even want, I'm I'm disgusted by men to a certain degree, right? Because mm-hmm. I know how creepy they are. They come here and they're their most vulnerable and nasty and all the stuff that everyone else is going to look at you crazy for. I have to take it because you're paying me to take it. Mm-hmm. So I think they're desensitized to it, honestly. I, I can see your point. And then on the other end, um, it's, it's a girl, I'm not going to say her name, but she's super big on OnlyFans. Like she, she getting like 200000 a month on OnlyFans. She only she only sleep with one dude on OnlyFans. Yeah, there's girls like that mm-hmm. as well. Think about it. She getting money. You can't. You can't. You don't get more money than her. Mm-hmm. And she already got a dude who who, who pleases her sexually. So she not. You not finna even go be able to go mess with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the but the question is based in morality. Morality yeah. is co- is grounded in principles. So then. <laughs> But what is, would you but, be okay if your daughter? Is, but what is morality? What What are the things that well, we do on the every on the everyday for for the for money? I do have personal opinions and beliefs on this question. However, it is difficult to determine who has more sex between regular girls and OnlyFans models, as sexual behavior is highly personal and varies widely among individuals. OnlyFans models may be more likely to engage in sexual activity as part of their work, but this does not necessarily mean they have more sex overall than regular girls. It is also important to note that engaging in sex work, including OnlyFans models, does not necessarily mean that an individual has more sex than someone who does not engage in sex work. Sex work involves the exchange of sexual services for money or other forms of compensation, and the boundaries and frequency of sexual activity are determined by the individual. Ultimately, it is not productive or respectful to make assumptions or generalizations about individuals based on their profession or sexual behaviors. It is important to respect and value all individuals, regardless of their sexual choices or occupation. The truth is women who go down this path in life have a lot of shortcomings. Either they are not skillful, they lack basic intelligence and morals and ethics, or are women who do not realize the joy in being traditional. Yes, that's actually right. But let's say that you had a daughter. As a father, you pass on virtues, you you pass on values, you pass on principles, you pass on morality. And if your daughter, if your daughter is doing that, is that something yeah, that you no, would allow? I'm not going to agree with my daughter doing it. So then the answer to the question for you is no. You think I, it's I'm, immoral. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to. I wouldn't agree with my, my daughter or my seed doing a lot of shit I do, yeah, but I'm not, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Well, then it's immoral. Well, you, you can't control yeah, what your, think, what your yeah. little baby do. You got to just lead them in the right way and hope that they grow up and do the things that you would be pleased with. Once but you child, still got to love them. They can do what they like. I think there's a place for them. I think it's been there for a long time. I think that if you're going to be a sex worker, you should be single. You shouldn't expect no man. And there should be a slut island. <laughs> where, they, where you can just get a ferry over to slut island and, you know, like, was it called? Hit the box, what so, they call it? That box thing? What? I'm learning something about the box. So, like, can regular people go <laughs> yeah. to that island? Like, no, they, I think that's the to be to but I don't, We should I, do a reality I think, show. I think <laughs> it, I, for me, I think it becomes immoral when they're, they're, they're looking for, they've got children. They've got partners. Uh, or they expect to get a man through it. Mm-hmm. And I think that if you're going to be a sex worker, that's what you're going to be. I, I, I Don't would expect tell you to this, be though. nothing else. Don't expect to be a wife. You shouldn't be a mother. I think if you're a mother and you're, you're a sex worker, or you're the only fans. I think if you're a partner and you're the only fan or anything like that, I think if you're a wife, no. But other than that, if you're single, you want to go and do it and you're harming no one, go to Slut Island and I just mean, have an old I, island. I, not as, a one, as, just go. as women, though, I do think, now I will say this, and it ain't my place to say this either. But I do think it's a time limit on it. You know what a time at, at, yeah. cert, at, cert, at a certain point, so you old as hell, you need to get your ass out the streets. But nobody's going to want you after home. that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Stay on the island. Because once you started, no, you can't be thirty. Listen, you can't like, be once you started, there's women out there. Oh, someone will buy it. It depends. Buy it. It, 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 it depends yeah. how bad yeah. that she yeah. is. Have you seen, have you seen <laughs> that? There was an article about like an eighty-year-old woman on Tinder. Guys were still. Yo, I she mean, she'll she be like was the she five. She'll be like the five-dollar special. It'll be real cheap. Dog, a simp will always forgive if she's bad enough. Yeah. I'm curious. What do you guys think? Is sex work moral? Immoral? Um, I think it's immoral. 
immoral. Yeah, I've got daughters, so. Uh, I don't know. I, I personally think, like, I have a lot of friends and a lot of people, so maybe I'm a bit desensitised to it, but I think corn has been happening for ages. I think as consenting adults, you know. Well, corn has it. Yeah. It's been, okay, how... Before the I'm internet? not. I'm not too. But the statistics. But even before, like, think about it. We had there's always the, sex work. The statues, yeah, yeah. even of naked women. Like, women have always been kind of admired for their bodies. Yeah, I, just, I don't know if the statues are the same thing as like a not really. But scene. I mean, <laughs> as in like it's, the it's admiring weird. women for their bodies and like I don't know. I just. But you don't think there's a, a difference of... between like a sexual picture and like a, a beauty? Because some of the yeah, older art. pictures. Oh, that's not. Um, wouldn't, someone, it be, wouldn't it be the same difference, though? <laughs> Whose phone's ringing? <laughs> um, some, but some of the older pictures, it's 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 because times have moved forward, though. Mm-hmm. So I can imagine even Uh-oh. sex back then mm-hmm. wasn't how we have sex now. You know, we, we've become more and more mm-hmm. uh, modern, freaky, disgusting. Oh, really? Disgusting. You know, people people I think watch corn really early mm-hmm. and. Yeah normal sex becomes boring mm-hmm. and you want to spice things up and you do more and more things that mm-hmm. maybe didn't happen back in the day not to say that that's don't right or wrong yourself. it's it's for every yeah well uh, yeah yeah don't play with like that. People. Don't play don't play like that. so, so to answer the question moral or immoral, immoral? i don't think it's immoral no i just so you think, think it's moral uh, mm, so then you think it's immoral i, I don't know i just think it's each to their own i think it's each to their own i think if Moral or immoral? <laughs> okay, we gotta. I think if you're single and like you said, Auntie, you, Auntie said it was moral. Yeah, I think uh. it is moral as long as it suits your lifestyle. And like she said, I think as long as you don't expect to for everyone just to accept it and understand, I think it's moral. No, I said don't expect a man. Don't expect anyone to marry you. I think women you too. Auntie, children. make sure you're talking to your. Sorry, you shouldn't have any children. Don't expect a man. Once you decide on the sex work, that's you till you die. Get think? sex work insurance. No, I'm not saying that I think. I'm saying that's how it should be. Because if somebody knows no, that no, this crazy. is how you start, you know, you're gonna you're Wait, not gonna on. get anybody, that should be able to put women off. But there's women that are going out there say, I can go and be only fans and I can still get a husband. I can then be gonna be only fans and I'm gonna have my children. I can be only fans. No, if the, you know that that is it, you're gonna have to take dick for the rest of your life. Oh, you get the bear, you get the scraps. Of, but there's that a lot it. of you get women that go out and don't do only you don't fans get that sleep around a lot. I'm talking about still, anyone that has sex for money. Anybody that has I'm not anything. talking about money. I'm talking about like just normal people that when they don't have their children, they go out and they sleep with loads of people and they don't do only fans, uh-uh. but they still get married yeah, and they the still get respected. That's what I'm saying. If, but I'm saying because we've got, got because we've got, not we've, because there's a platform that you're like showcased on it's highlighted, but there's a lot of women in privacy that do a lot worse yeah, than but, women but, on but, the but platform. They deserve you know, but do you know what? Do you know what it says if you go on OnlyFans that you have no shame? But you, and so, and so it's like you don't, care, you, don't, don't, you, don't, you don't care about bringing shame to your family. Listen, you, you have no camera? shame. Some Listen, and the families and, 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 like, we, don't mind. Can we, you think the kids don't mind? I mean, you kids children? don't obviously. Kids don't have like the same view. I mean, like mums mm-hmm. and dads. Like some people just. You know, as right, an adult. But, that's, but it's still saying I'm putting my my money before bring, bringing shame to the family name. Depending on what your family view is on it, right? But I'm saying, what are the, the kids get no say in this? So it's still it still goes back to I always talk about this the me 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 culture where it's yeah. me Very before selfish. the children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully the kids will turn out fine. But you know, I need this money, so I'm going to do this now. There's a lot of porn stars with children that are okay as well. Porn stars. Porn stars. Porn sorry, stars. sorry, yeah. Um, Outliers. Some people literally. Outliers. Outliers. Listen, Outliers. If, if, if we can, yeah. if we can. So, like, so the thing is, is that uh, so, so the way that you talk, it's kind of like in this, this, um, this my truth. You know, it just is what it is. Everyone can make decisions, but at the same time, as I hear it, it sounds like people can make decisions without repercussions. Or consequences and I think that's on a slippery slope because when we do that it starts to get away from accountability and the thing is is like when you look at generally what men typically want out of women men typically do not want women that have been conquered sufficiently and especially have done it for money mm. and especially have put their viscous innards up on the internet. But there's also a massive misconception that, like um, the gentleman said, there's a lot of women that only sleep with their boyfriends on there. And also that, that there's a misconception that if you do only found you're easy, whereas it's most of the time it's actually very opposite. Mm-hmm. To get in contact with this woman, normally you have to 
pay up front. Like, you're not, con- you're, she's not, resp- she gets so many DMs a day. She's not going to respond to you. And it, it's a moral in the way of like, Money, money, money comes first. But I'm saying there's a misconception that just because a girl does OnlyFans that she's maybe easy or easy easy access and it's that's not... Right. It does, it, but that's not what I'm saying. It's, se- it's sex work. Men of value. If you can, if you want to, uh, in the enter- entertainment. Yeah. Besides, let's say, like a Kanye, a Kanye West, what people in entertainment have women that have done OnlyFans publicly. There's a lot of um, Name, people that do Playboy and like maybe not as um as graphic, but there's still there's still men that will women with children. So yeah, you were when I, so you, so you no, you can you, you name five? With a supermodel? Name My five. memory is terrible so I'm probably saying not. it should be easy if it happens a lot. Mm-hmm. There's loads. Five. If you would have asked me to before, I could have probably researched it, but no, not off the top of my head, no. <laughs> do you but guys I'm consider saying, But I'm saying if this was common, if this was common, like should you should be, be able to, to, to name five or at least one, two, three off the top of your head. I think far too often when we have these conversations, if, women, if women's goal is to be with men, then you have to consider what men want. Mm-hmm. And yeah, irrespective no, of the brand, if she had been involved with that, it's going to deselect a lot of women and here's the thing there's a lot of women that sit in situationships that think they're in good standing with the man but the man just don't say ish yeah but they yeah. continue to they, they continue in that situation ship and just don't don't tell her the truth or it's fine while, while it's still extracting contact, and then as soon as they while don't still, they will not take them seriously. while still extracting their insides so yeah. they're getting what they want and that they already know there's going to be an expiration date at the end of it yeah so the thing is 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 what is your goal and how, how are you working towards your goal? What are the actions that you're putting in the place? And I think if we if it's on a slippery slope where you're not understanding what men want, and if the result is a man, then you have to make some changes within the way that you move within that. Well, I think it's obvious. If Charlotte, if Charlotte don't only fans, she's not thinking about getting married. That's yeah, the last yeah, thing on my mind. Exactly. That's not what she's trying to do. Until it's time a- runs out. The wall. She has to, yeah, and have then you, she has to think about something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever thought about it or considered it or done it? Only fan. Um, or stripping? No, because you just seem really like no, it's I'm, like part I, of you, like you're yeah, in the circle. You know, it's, I have a lot of I have a lot of close friends that do it, and I can understand. Um, and even being a photographer that does laundry, and I I promote body positivity, so I post myself in laundry on my my content. I, I'm plus size. I try to like, do you know what I mean? So it's not. It's not exactly that, but like it's kind of within a tiny bit of a window of it. Does you think you go further? Um, Do you think you're going to start there now? Are you going to get so body positivity? You're going to get so positive about your body. You're going to think, you know what? My friends are doing it. I can go and be positive on OnlyFans and get paid for it. Like a Domino's effect. If I did. I would understand the repercussions. Do you okay. know what I mean? No, I, it just sounds like you're you're already invested in that whole. Yeah, I just think I don't know. I just think some like it's, it's, there's a bit of an unfair vision on it sometimes, but I understand why. Do you know yeah, what I but, mean? But it's like when you're arguing, it's kind of like, do I want a thief in my house? No, right? Yeah. Does it matter if you in know? Maybe maybe what? that maybe that thief stole five dollars worth of stuff, and that thief stole fifty, but they're still both thieves. And that's what I'm saying with the guys. The way the guys think about promiscuity. Okay, maybe maybe the regular girl's worse. That's not in sex work, but then guys don't want either. Mm. Can I just say though, if you're speaking about regular girls to do it, they're not actually putting it out there, so you wouldn't know what they're doing anyway. And also saying that girls that are in sex work might not do it as regular as a regular girl, but maybe they haven't actually been given the opportunity if they're trying to make money off it. So who, who? like sex workers, if you're saying that they do it um, less than a regular girl, oh, I it's because don't, a lot I don't, of men, I don't right? say that. But yeah, yeah. But to your point, you said like sometimes regular girls do it more than a sex worker, yeah, but, but maybe saying, the sex worker's not know. meeting anyone that's actually willing to yeah, pay. So we, they we haven't been presented the opportunity. If you, if, if you move around out here, we know. It goes from group to after group. Like, sure, you know, boys know boys. Boys right. know that, like, if you think that you're private and you've had sex with, say, 20 boys and they don't know each other, they know. Men know 100%. They we call always, that the whole facts. We know it. They know it. You feel know me? Even it, it, with, it, like... It, all right, let's say, let's say me and you first started talking. They just haven't been given the opportunity to do that because they're wanting money from it. So it's like, mm-hmm. if they got 20, like, guys a week saying... I'll give you this. Would they do it and then be worse than the regular girl because now they're actually getting paid for it? Whereas a lot of guys will be, as soon as they find out a girl wants money for it, they're not going to do it because why would I give you money when I can get it for free? And a lot of men argue, sorry, that, oh, I wouldn't subscribe to an OnlyFans because I have girls that send it to me for free. So the actual nudes and the spreading and all that stuff isn't the issue. It is the money part. 
can I say obviously, that? Obviously, you still wouldn't maybe... Because men are builders. Yeah, but obviously, you still <laughs> maybe mo- might not uh, listen, listen, marry listen, the woman that's listen, doing listen, that. Listen. Yeah, but yeah, guys, 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 men don't guys, want what was for the streets. Guys, guys, guys want you to send nudes to them and not only the world. them. Yeah, not, like, not, even, not, even, uh, if, if he found out you sent nudes to three of his friends, you'd be out the same way. Immediately. Yes, yes, Men are very personal. It's like, it's just for me. It's just for them. Like men are Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to put y'all on some lingo where I'm at, Atlanta. If, 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 we, if we feel like a girl done been around and we know she been around, we say she burnt out. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you on OnlyFans or if you not on OnlyFans, you can still be burnt out. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's way we can tell. We can tell about how you how we, how we you move. You know what I'm saying? So let's say me and you first started dealing with each other. Well, I don't know you. We just talking. The vibe cool, whatever. I'm going to take you to the club. Let's go to the club. Let's go to a spot where everybody be at. When we walk in this spot, I can I can tell by how you move around in this spot and who what men in here know you and I can I can just I can look at how you acting and tell how you moving, whether you burnt out or not. So it ain't got nothing to do with OnlyFans, it ain't got nothing to do with none of that. It's about how you really moving out here. And men gonna know. We're gonna know. Like y'all not good enough to hide that shit. Like, but you I feel know. like a lot of girls that go to the club, you they might not actually do it, whereas you will meet a lot of, like, homebodies, for example, that they're always at home, but a man's always with them. Like, and it doesn't have to be the same man. It could just be a different man. You wouldn't know, because if someone feels shame about it or anything, they're not going to tell you. They'll just lie. So (laughs) you will never know, really, what goes on in someone's life unless you've got proof. I always hear from guys that, like, women always tell on themselves that a girl can fool you, but only for so long. Do you guys think that's true? Yeah, for so It is important to understand that men and women may have different experiences, needs, and challenges and that promoting equal opportunities does not mean treating everyone exactly the same. Rather, it means recognizing and addressing the inequalities and biases that exist and providing support and resources to ensure that everyone can achieve their full potential. Stay put on the approaching episode and be ready to give your own standpoint on the questions that follow. Stay blessed and do not miss out.